Hello Vlogineers, today we're going to unbox and demo Doctor Who High Five Inventor Coding Kit by Tinker Coding for Kids and BBC Learning. Now I'm not too familiar about Doctor Who, but I know it's a British show about time travel and this lady over here is Doctor Who. Okay, let's take off the wrapping. Here's the box. So on the front, what does this look like, brother? A hand. It looks and like also a Doctor furry hand. Yeah, and Doctor Who is also holding a hand. It says take coding to the next level. What's included? A high five inventor, a battery good. pack, a USB LED, a speaker, alligator chips, and full networking with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. <clears throat> Inside the box, we're going to be learning block coding and micro Python. And finally on the back, it says connect, code, and invent. Everything you need to get coding. Let the doctor get you started. Looking at the back, it seems like there are six activities inside this box. One of them is to develop an intergalactic weather service, then wirelessly pilot an alien spaceship. Um, the next one's Learn to control a robot. Send and receive emojis. Build an alien musical instrument. And lastly, create a security system. And by the way, this is for ages seven and up. Now we're gonna open the box. Spoilers. Wow. That's... Oh, well, uh, oh, there's the hand. Well, it is bigger on the inside. Uh, what's here? Choking hazard, not a toy. Wonderful. <laughs> Okay, here is the, the instruction manual. Yeah, it actually opens up. Product information, copyright notices, high five inventor, what's included. And on the back, get to know your high five inventor. And here's the high five inventor. Whoa, here it is. Whoa. On the back, BBC Doctor Who. What's this. under this white baby? I know. Oh, there's more stuff. What did they say it is? Oh, and after this, there's more stuff. There's one of these electrical uh, board things. So get pinky. Is this for battery? Uh, yeah. And then, there's more. Oh, wow. There's more. Wire. Wires. Wires. Nice wire. Yeah, this this is cool. They, they just loop the wires around. Let's open this little box where the batteries stored. So it looks like they don't come with batteries. However, we're going to need three double A batteries. Three double A batteries. So we're gonna put that in in a bit. Now it's time to show you how this coding kit works. Let's get our shift off. First, we're going to redeem our code so we can access the highfiveinventor.com site. Mm -hmm. Create an account. I'm a student. We created our account, and now we're going to click continue. Oh, Doctor Who Planet of Adventure. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? There's way more than six activities or whatever I said earlier. Oh, so there's block coding over here, micro Python over here, glitch manner, and intro to Python. Here's Doctor Who's Planet of Adventure. We're going to start with lesson one. Which is called Wayward World. Oh, come on, old girl. What's going on now? Click anywhere to continue. Right, click. Some sort of energy field is interfering with the TARDIS. It's pulling us off course. It's pulling us off course. Anyway, if I don't take back control, we're gonna crash. Who knows when? Give me a hand, my dear. Okay, so we have to help Doctor Who. Can you help program the TARDIS's navigation calibrators? This energy interference has scrambled the code. We'll write code with Tinker. Tinker is a visual programming language. Okay. You can snap together these code blocks a program. Uh, Each one is a command. When you connect code blocks together and use your imagination, you can make anything happen. You can make things move. Make characters speak. Change how things look. And much more. 
Wow, that's cool. That was a nice introduction. Oh, oh wow. Uh, yeah. The first obstacle. Uh oh. It seems like the TARDIS accidentally went into maximum security mode while we landed. The door is jammed. See if you can unlock the door. Okay. So, how do we open? Maybe we start with one actor clicked. So, first we go to door one. Oops, wrong order. Yeah, good. Oh, I know. Door two is in the wrong position. Okay. Things moving. Click the orange play button to try out your code. Plus. Oh. Okay, so if we go to the actor's gear icon, add costume. Oh. Uh, Which one? I mean, just pick one. Grumpy old man. Grump where's, oh, oh, what? This is Doctor Who. Doctor one. Let's just try next. Getting Click the orange play button to try out your code. Why is Dr. Who here now? Because you're the one who did the custom. You're the one who did that. Finally, Dr. Who's out. Okay. Just Anyways, basically costume one for the door is when it's shut. Costume two is when it's slightly open. Costume number three is when it's even more open. Then costume number four, and by the time you go to costume number five, the door is completely open. Okay, so now we're gonna press I'm done. Yes. We're done with the first activity, so let's press I'm done. Congratulations, you have finished this lesson. And now we're back to oh. the main part. Oh. oh, 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 cool. So now we get to the neat. The next level, oh. which is called a new tour. Oh, oh, look what's coming up. The hand. The hand. So, in the next level, we'll be using hand. So, we can do this level since we have not demonstrated the hand. You can use code blocks to control the high five, just like other actors. Oh. oh. Okay, so it's showing this side right now, the side that you're doing. This but instead of just giving commands to an actor on your computer screen, You'll be giving programs to your real life high five. Pretty sweet. This is oh, wow. Oh, so we can program commands and it'll go to this thing. Using code, you can turn your high five into anything you can imagine, just like the Dr. Sonic. Sensors. The high five sense. can also measure the world around you. It has sensors to detect temperature, light, acceleration, oh. and even magnetic fields. What? The light sensor on the front can detect your room's light level. Oh, okay, here's the light sensor. There are even more sensors on the back, along with other things. And finally, the battery is the powerhouse of the high five. Yes, the battery. So we you must have wait, the battery. Can I plug it in? I know how to plug it in. Uh, just wait. Okay, good idea. Go ahead and plug that in. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're plugging it in now. Okay. Oh, okay, so I'm clicking on the A button over there. Is it? It's actually working. I plugged it in in the right place. Yeah! Woohoo! Tutorial Making a Compass. Making a compass. Oh. <laughs> a compass is an extremely useful tool in finding out which way to travel. Make a compass to help the doctor on violence. Okay, so when. Compass heading equals north, so that means when the, the compass is pointing towards north, then we would display the green arrow. But when the compass heading does not equal north, it says a big no. It's a big X. <laughs> yeah, it's a big purple X. <laughs> Now that we've connected the high five to the USB, you can see that there's a big pink X on here. But 
if we point it in the direction of north, then you'll see a green arrow because north is to my right. Next. Congratulations. You have now successfully run your first high five project. And that is all for today. We did lessons one and two. We made a cold compass from the High Five Inventor. If we were to keep going, you can do a Musica Stellarum, Doctor's Best Friend, Time Warp. Ooh, Time Warp. Nice to meet who? Function Junction, Stormy Weather, Regrowth, and Escape. To end this video, we remove the laptop so you can get a clear view of this compass. Now, if you point this in any direction except north, again, there will be a The north, S. you have to point it at the exact location of north. And in the direction of north, over here, there's the green arrow. And that's all for the Doctor Who High Five Coding Kit. The way I see it, there are three cool aspects to this kit. Number one is how it has to do with Doctor Who, and there's the nice storyline. Number two, is the coding because it can be educational. You can learn Python code, but today we just did block code. And number three is this high five is really cool. Not only can it act as a compass as we showed today, but it can also detect light, acceleration, and temperature. And magnetic fields. Well, that is compass. Well, yeah, I guess. <laughs> we hope to soon program some more on this high five inventor. And if this looks interesting to you, you can purchase it at the link in the description. Bye-bye!